How you doing, everybody? So you saw last week's Transformer. Pretty sure you know I know what this is already. But before we get into that, you can help out the channel. Help me to bring you more stuff like this, of course, because I know you want to see it. You just got to hit that little subscribe over there. It's totally free. It won't cost you anything, and it will do all a world of good for us. And, of course, over there, you can hit that little thumbs up. Which is also free and will also help the channel and help us get more stuff out like this. What could be better for both you and for me? You get to see more videos like this. And I get the support to bring out more videos like this. So, it's another Transformer review. But, it's a 1980s version of what we did last week. So, I'm just going to move some stuff around because I want to... Show a little bit of everything first before we get into it. I do have a box for it. It's a little worse for wear because it was from when I was a kid. So you got to excuse it. I'm just moving some stuff out of the way. So I can get everything situated. And we can do this properly. Because you know how I like to show you the boxes. Now, the art back then was pretty cool, too, especially the main picture, as you can see, the plus is collapsing because the flaps on the side are gone. Then you have the pieces up on top. I do not have the batteries right now. I forgot. So he is not going to light up and make sounds and stuff, but it's all good because he still does work because not too long ago, as you can see more of the artwork on there. And then, of course... You have a really cool artwork on the back. Not too long ago, I had him fired up and going. I actually still have in the box the old sticker paper, which it seen better days because the stickers are like really coming off on this guy. So I'm unwrapping. So we can just take a look at how cool the paperwork. You had your little checklist right there. And look at all of the stuff you could get with this, see? What you could get at the store. And you had your Autobot side. And you had your Decepticon side. Skylinks. Wreck car. So, so nice. That's what I really like. They need to put that back in there. So, Transformers, if you're actually checking out my page. So I have everything. I just don't have the little red thing for the back to read or purple with the Decepticon. Sorry. I forgot. So we have all our stuff here. I do have the instructions full in contact, fully together still. It tells you everything that comes in the box right there. Put that to the side. So we have our one gun. Now I had to put some paper stuffed in there because if this wasn't fitting right, the piece on front, this didn't want to fit right anymore. No, I thought maybe the purple little thing to read his power on the back was there, but no. So as you can see, you could put Galvatron out like that old school Galvatron. I'm just moving one thing out of the way so I don't want to knock it over and break stuff because this is my desk. I'm just doing a short video because, well, not a short video, but you know, doing my regular length video, but I have to get it out. And as you can see, with this Galvatron, you had a gun. So you take out his little laser thing right there you put it in here like I said I had to stuff some stuff in there his switch was back here you could work it from the trigger over here that lights up when he's in gun mode or you could do the switch over here and gave the lasers and talking and all that fun stuff so what you do right here is you just flip these bad boys down there's little tank tracks and you got his hands Oh, and his eyes also lit up, which is way cooler than the new one. Sorry, kids. 
sorry. And you could press it here as well. You do that right there, pull those out. I'm gonna flip his feet out like so. And spread the legs a little bit more. And then you could take his Galvatron blaster. And you could put his other gun over here. You can just hear him screaming, Star Scream! Let me move the camera up a little so we can get a little more of the face in there. So there you have it. Yes, the newer one's more posable. But it didn't have the lights. It didn't turn into a gun. Oh, I knocked off that gun, sorry. Oh, and if you were putting the batteries in, it would go in there, the little 9 volt. If it was double A AA or AAA, I would have it. I forgot it was a 9 volt. So I don't have it with me. So there you have it. The lights, the eyes light up, the top lights up. It is freaking cooler, way cooler and way more amazing than our modern day guys. And let's put him back into the gun mode. I don't think my son seen much of the Galvatron because the box is such a mess. So, of course, before I put him back away, I'll let my son take a look at him so he can enjoy it. Oh, the little piece, so you make sure he stays up for his gun mode. Is this little bracket right here that kind of slides on. And he did have the heat thing here. Let's see if this still works, actually. Yes, it does. They should bring that back, really. And then you flip the legs around. You gotta put his feet down. Put these bad boys back. Like so. Put out those little flaps. He's got a little bit of dirt here because of one of the things, but definitely check that out. I mean, that is way cool. The stickers are coming off. I mean, you know, he's old. He's seen a lot of battles over the years when I was younger. He saw several battles, so, you know, you can't expect too much from him. But how cool is that? Now, you could say in the comments below what you think is the better one. Is it the modern one that I reviewed last week? Or is it the old school 1980s one? I know I say I like the 1980s because of the rubber on the tires and the metal. And this one is one of the ones that doesn't actually have metal on it at all. It's all plastic. But I don't know. Is this, the, is this put together different? If you notice with the new ones, and you start transferring them, pieces pop off, pieces come undone. With the old ones, I mean, other than having to put a little extra stuffing in there for the gun... Everything just worked out perfectly. And I know it's all P PC and all this junk now, so, you know, you can't be having guns. When we were kids, you could play with guns. It was all good. So, you actually had your gun mode there. How cool would that be? And you're playing, and you can actually be a Decepticon if you just wanted to be bad that day. Let me put him back around. This is original tank gun form, I guess you could say. And it is, it does, not does, does, does have actual little wheels on the bottom here. They're plastic, but definitely rolls really nicely. I just feel like the ones back from the 80s roll so much better than the ones today. So, tell me what you think, guys. Is it the modern, the, the 80s? Which one will it be? Which is the better one? Please, 
Tell me in the comments below. I really appreciate it if you give me your top, your opinion. Because I value the opinion of everybody out there, okay? So hit me up in the comments section so we get this video out and more and more people and more and more views, okay? I appreciate it so much. Now, I will show my son the modern version. Tell him, see what he's missing because the old, I meant the old version, I mean, sorry. The old version is way better. Shh, don't tell him I said that, okay? Have a great day, guys. I really appreciate everybody tuning in. Like I said, have a great day. Enjoy.